Great thing to start out my morning with is uh, dispatching a quail. His foot. I don't even know what happened, but it is like not even, it's like barely attached to his, the rest of his leg, if you can see that. And he's bleeding up on his stomach and on his back. Like he was seriously attacked, this poor guy. So uh, I'm just not gonna waste any time and I'm just gonna put him out of his misery. Poor guy. Here's a closer look for you. Look how bad that is. I mean, it's like not even, I bet you he has no feeling left in that anymore. I mean, it's just swollen. Oh, it's horrible. I don't even know what happened. But, uh, say goodbye. Okay, I've got some scissors here. They're really sharp kitchen scissors. And, um, and a garbage can. And what I'm just going to do is... Just going to put the scissors over his head like this. And then you're just going to... Yeah, that foot is just, look at that. It's just not even, not even really attached. So we're just gonna hold him down. I'm gonna put it as close behind his head. Sometimes you can hold them upside down for a few minutes and it'll actually make it, uh, so they're, they have a sense of dysphoria. And same thing that you do chickens when you put them in the cone. <laughs> And then you're just gonna put the scissors behind their head. Oh. They'll stay still. And then you're just gonna snip right off. So then you just let the, dr the blood drain out. And this guy, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw him away because uh, that foot is really bad and I don't know if he got some kind of infection from it. I just, you know, I don't ever want to risk anything, but I just gotta wait for the twitching to just stop. But yeah, that foot, man, it is not even, I feel so bad for him. Like, I mean, it's all fresh blood and it could have happened overnight. And I'll just put them in there and go watch the scissors. So yeah, that is how you dispatch a quail. It's really easy. You just got to make sure that you have sharp scissors because if you don't, you're going to do uh, several snips. <laughs> it's not going to be a good experience for you at all. Um, I know the first one that I dispatched, the very first quail I did, I did not put the head, I didn't stretch my scissors out enough and so the head was like right here. And so I only got like half of it and the quail was still alive <laughs> and like making noises and so I had to snip it like multiple times. So make sure that you get it all the way up in the back of the scissors right here and that you have sharp scissors that are just gonna snip right through it the first time. And it'll make the process a little better. So anyways, there you go. <laughs> that quail really had no chance of surviving. Uh, that foot was just like totally detached and it was purple. So it was obviously not alive. And even if I wanted him to live and like I tried to heal him, it would not have been a good life for him. He would have been on one foot and it looked like affection had already set in and I just did not. It, he just wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a good life for him. And another thing with dispatching a quail, or any animal really, don't wait to do it. Because the longer that you sit there and just like stare at them as they're alive, it's just going to get harder. And because you're, you're thinking, you know, you need to try to build up the courage, but just don't do that. Just get it over with. Do it super quick. Uh, because one, they're not waiting any longer and you're not waiting any longer. And because it just makes it worse for you, <laughs> it's going to just make it harder. So just get it over with and yeah, it'll just be all the better for it.